Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today I'm going to explain attributes and property elements to you. So here I have a view that simply asks for your name and politely says hello back to you. So let me let me show you what's going on here. Um, type in, it says what is your name? You type in WPF Tutorials. And you, you click the button. It says, hello, WPF Tutorials. So let's take a closer look at the label in this example and see how it's utilizing attributes. We see several attributes defined on this label, such as foreground being yellow, background being green, font size is 48, the horizontal alignment is center, and the vertical alignment is center. So what XAML is actually doing behind the scenes is converting the string properties we give it into its real type using something called a type converter. Its main responsibility is actually to convert one .NET data type to another. So for instance, it's going to convert the string 48 into an integer for font size, or the string green to the brush object of color green. So now that we've talked about attributes, let's move on to property elements. There's more than one way to define most controls using XAML. Let's use this button for example. See, right now we're using a combination of attributes and attached properties. So here's an attribute, font size, and here's an attached property. Um, we'll learn about that later on. Um, but what we're going to do now is rewrite the button using property elements. So here's an example. I'm going to go ahead and comment out the button and I'm going to create a new button tag and we're gonna we're gonna define the grid row first and we're gonna set that to 2 then we're gonna go ahead and set the button font size by using button dot font size and we're gonna set that property value to 48 and then we're going to do button dot content and we're gonna type in click to say your name. And we're also going to define whoa. We're also going to define the click event and we're going to call button click, which is actually this event back here and the code behind. So now we're going to run it. And type in WPF tutorials. It says hello WPF tutorials, just like before. So now normally for a button you'll just want to use the simpler attribute syntax, but property elements come in handy when we're trying to express properties that are too complex to use simple attributes. So hopefully in this tutorial you learned how to use attributes and property elements and the differences between them. And as always, guys, I really appreciate your feedback to know what I'm doing wrong or right, so please leave comments below the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.